Hi, I'm Kimberly Schneiderman, Senior Practice Development Manager at RiseSmart, here with your weekly tip. Personality assessments are helpful tools to identify strengths and areas for improvement. So why is it that we tend to skim over the results looking only for everything that is wrong with us? It's human nature, but it doesn't have to be that way. Next time you take an assessment, focus on your whole personality picture to better understand your value. Try these steps to get the most out of any assessment results. Identify your strengths. Results are chock full of positive information. Look at those points and ask yourself, how does this information tie to my work-related strengths? For example, ask how your ability to relate to others works in your favor while managing projects. From there, demonstrate your strengths through developing smart stories that you can use during interviews and networking meetings. Next, learn about yourself. Assessments that are focused on career and work often have information that point to your best work environment and preferred work pace. You can use this information to help you evaluate job opportunities during interviews. If, you, if your report highlights that you thrive in situations where the pace is quick and very action-oriented, use that knowledge when interviewing at a company to evaluate how you might fit in a position and with the corporate culture there. Next, ascertain your communication style. Have you ever worked with somebody who was well-regarded, top performer, just like you, yet you couldn't seem to have a productive conversation with them? You likely have two very different communication styles, and the more you know about your style and about the various other styles that people have, the better you can adjust your style, have more productive conversations, and more successful overall communication with others. Finally, know your work style. Understanding your style, whether you are task-oriented, customer-focused, or have a need for control, allows you to better understand your own work habits and tendencies. And then with this information, you can address the ways that you've already worked on developing yourself. For example, you can talk about how you've learned to deal with pressure or difficult feedback in a positive manner. And this is a great strategy for those pesky weakness-focused questions that tend to arise in interviews. Ultimately, the results of a personality assessment should point out many strengths about your work style and habits that you can feel really good about. Make sure you home in on these points and really see how they positively influence your work. There is no one right way to be, so always look at your personality from the perspective of your unique strengths and value. Thank you for joining me today. For more ideas in your job search, be sure to tune in to our upcoming webinars.